What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? High Ridge Handyman here. All right, listen. We got a couple small ones uh, this Saturday lined up. Already did a couple of curtain rods. Didn't film it. Had to come back home and grab a few things. Now I'm heading out to do uh, mailboxes, cuz. So we're gonna go and we're gonna remove, you know, remove the broken one if it's still in the ground. Get the concrete or get as much out as we can customer has all the materials there on the site um, so I'm gonna go pick it up she's got a long driveway I'm gonna drive down with the pickup truck okay we're gonna load up the crap we're gonna bring it up by the end of the drive the uh, driveway there and uh, we're gonna start putting in the new mailbox Let's see if it'll focus 73,000 miles and it's a 2003 so this truck you know it's still in good shape all right we'll talk to you soon all right I'm at the job um, I had to drive down, driveway's long. I went down, she had the stuff outside. This is ours with the crooked mailbox right here. We're gonna set it up. We got all our materials right here. She's got herself the mailbox, a nice post. And we're gonna put this thing together in a minute. I'm gonna remove the old crap out first. All right, so what you do, and I'm sure your uh, people know how to use these things. This is a post hole digger, okay, see ya. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit it down hard then you're gonna take two hands and spread this apart and you're gonna hold it apart as you're holding it apart you're gonna lift up and then over here you dump your dirt all right when it gets a little packed out it gets a little tight down there you grab the uh, bar all right you're gonna take the bar and you're just going to drop it in let the weight do the work hit it in the... once it's loosened you take it put it back and then you're going to uh, go again with the post hole digger it's pretty basic all right now that the hole is ready okay we're down deep enough this is a pretty simple install. I've never put one of these in. It's the Craftsman Mailbox and Post Kit. We got three, uh, three easy steps. We're going to obviously set the 4x4 four four right there in the concrete. Then you're going to take it. You're going to put it right over it, the sleeve of it. Okay. You're going to slide this, which is pretty easy. You got the hole here at the bottom. It's made out of plastic. You're gonna put it on like that, right over the post. And then the mailbox, which we're missing, this is the shelf. We're missing this shelf piece. All right, let's see if it's somewhere else. No, it's nowhere to be found. So, she's going to have to get the piece this is one issue I have when customers have their own equipment. It is never correct. It always has a part missing. So I'm going to have to let her know. And uh, we're going to have to work something out to come back out with my time. Alrighty. Well, I got to say, I do recommend Home Depot a lot. Um, I just got off the phone with the customer. It was the last one in the store. And what it's missing is... The actual shelf part okay and without that you can't put the mailbox on the post um, and she's gonna try to go to go Home Depot in another town and I'm embarrassed because you know I recommend my Stanford Home Depot to everybody but anyway she's gonna go to Norwalk and she's gonna see if they have the same thing um, in the meantime I'm gonna set the post get it in the concrete and when she gets it I'll just shoot back over and put it together but that's just something for you people out there. It's a little lesson. When you buy something from Home Depot, I hate to say it, open the box and make sure everything is in it before you leave. Um, this thing was taped up. I mean, I looked at it. It was taped up. But this, this is taped up by probably someone in the store. This isn't factory. So you got to check things, you know. Open the boxes, unfortunately. And uh, that'll be it. We'll have to come back and... Uh, take it from there and always remember to bring your own water okay I didn't have a lid so I threw a garbage bag over it 
that you can be in a remote area where there's no water to mix your concrete. So I'm gonna set it, throw the concrete mix in, fill it with water, throw some rocks in there, make it strong, make it level, and then we'll have to come back and install the mailbox. While I'm sitting here waiting for the customer to show up, um, if she can get here within the next 20 minutes or so, I thought I'd bring this up. Um, if you're out there and you're given a price on a job and a customer insists on buying materials and things like that, you know, to save some money, which I don't have a problem with, the night or the day or two before, maybe a couple days before you go to do the job, you know, call them on the phone and make sure everything is there. That'd be a good idea. Tell them to open the boxes. Make sure all the stuff is there that you need. So then this doesn't happen to you and you're sitting here wasting time. You know, I, uh, this goes back to a video I made of, you know, properly estimating a job. You never know what's going to happen. So I watch other videos. I get other ideas from other uh, handyman out there. You know, I hear that they have minimum charges just to come out, and I started doing that. Um, the hourly rate, I don't do. That's not going to happen. I come out, I look at jobs or the job, I give them a price on that particular job. Plan on, if you think a job is going to take you in your mind an hour or two, just plan on four hours. That's it. All right, we'll talk to you soon. we got cars coming in and out of here. Um, so... We're going to put this video to a rest until it is time to finish the mailbox. So remember, estimate the jobs right. Um, put in for that extra time. Um, if customers want to buy their own stuff, make sure the materials, everything is there before you show up. And if it's not, they'll have to go out and make sure it's there for you. All right, so the customer made it back with the same box. Um, what we were missing from the last one was this guy here, All right, which sits on the post. Okay, so what I did was, like we, what, like I talked about before, I set this post in. You want to make sure it's level. It's level there. You want it level on this side too. Okay, so that's done. It's pretty solid from waiting. Okay, we're gonna take this. This is the Craftsman mailbox and post kit. We take the post itself and put it right over, okay, just like this, and we're going to put it together like a puzzle. So we do that, we take this, put this on here, okay, obviously we're going to use screws, and we have the mailbox, and this little guy goes on top little ball thing okay it's not bad it's plastic it'll last forever all right and we have the screws to put it together and I'll show you the finished product all right you put the uh, sleeve over the post it's one bolt or one screw I used a long decking screw it's on there pretty solid then you're gonna take this guy put the cover on you're going to send the screws in on both sides with the white ends here. And then we're going to put the, uh, the uh, bolts to hold the mailbox on. Four bolts, two on each side, all right? And that'll be it. There it is, completed. Nice, not bad. You know, it's all plastic, but I got to tell you, this thing is durable. You know, you'd be, believe it or not, you move it around. That thing's pretty solid. All right. All plastic. It's the Craftsman. Uh, the Craftsman Mailbox and Post Kit. Um, available at your local Home Depot. Try them at the store or, you know, go online. I'm not sure how much you paid. I got to tell you, it's a nice looking mailbox. One other thing before we go, um, subscribe, share, and like. If you like these videos, hit that bell. And when I send out another one, you'll get a notification. And you know I say it all the time, but I appreciate all the new subscribers. All right, kid. I'm out. And uh, no, Sonny's not here. 
Unfortunately, he's home. Uh, he's sunbathing in the backyard. All right, we'll talk to you soon.